and stuff. And I wanted to kind of maybe just go through the list of everybody here and uh, if, if you know of or can talk more about some of the opportunities for peer group therapy uh, that are either while on active duties provided by the DOD or the Department of Army or uh, through the VA or even through the, the, the Legion posts or, or a DAV um, group. Uh, so I, I'll just start because uh, Dr. Thompson is on my immediate left on my screen. I'll start with you. Thank you, Terry. Um, yes, so uh, we at VA are just so aware of and and uh, of how important peer support services and peer support is. Um, and so we have uh, hired um, a, a peer support specialists at every VA around the country, and they all have had some experience with uh, mental health problems, um, and they then take the, the veterans that they work with along the journey with them of um, of getting through VA care. Um, we are we continue to enhance the peer support services um, by having group sessions and incorporating the peer support specialists into um, into suicide prevention um, and uh, providing suicide prevention training. So we we absolutely are very uh, very supportive and and very um, find that the peer support piece is so important. Jackie. Yeah, so, um, so do you, do you have uh, examples of how that's applied at the uh, on-base level for active duty? So what we've been doing is we have the Vets for Warriors program, which are veterans who are on a call line, and you could um, chat in or email into them as well. They're available 24-7. It's a confidential service. And as I said, they are peers who are trained in providing peer support. I, I emphasize that because I think we mix up peers and gatekeepers and mentors and we use some of these terms interchangeably. When I, when I talk about peer support in a, in a paraprofessional way, these are, and just like Dr. Thompson was mentioning with the VA having hired peers, we train those peers to provide a level of support and services. We call it resilience case management and that's where they do walk through understanding, scoping the problem, um, working with you to look at solutions, things you think might work for you, and then finding resources, making referrals, and following up. If somebody has anxiety at 2, 3 in the morning, they just need somebody to talk to about what's gone on in their day, that's what the peer can do. The peers take calls from all over the world. We've worked with people aboard ships, um, and as well as in deployed environments. So they call in, they chat in, and we're able to provide a very specific applied skill set that has been very important for the services. We're about to expand that from being um, a call center to actually put peers in the field. We're having a, a pilot that's about to kick off at 30 SOCOM locations, uh, Special Operations Command, and we're going to embed peers at the unit level uh, through the commands, and then they're going to train peers who can forward deploy with the unit um, as SOCOM and, and the uh, Special Operations Forces operate. Um, operations continue. This way they can take their embedded peer with them, who again has been very trained in a model a little different from gatekeeper training and that level of peer support, but we think that, and at the department, and our secretary and the VA secretary have both signed, mem have both signed a, a memorandum of agreement to promote the use of peer support and these opportunities. I think the one thing, and I know we've worked with the American Legion on this, so maybe Warren can help me out, where we've talked about looking at how to credential peer support so that at some of these trainings, as we, um, we, as we provide master resilience training and um, ask care escort training and assist training and combat operational stress control training, that as we do all of these trainings, that somebody can take those trainings from being on active duty, take them into their civilian life, and either get a use those certifications towards a degree, like an associate's degree in peer counseling, and then be able to find a job, like the jobs at the VA or at the call center. There are, um, there are lots of opportunities 
for peer support out there. I think we just need to do a better job of making that understood as a profession and professionalizing it. Well, I noticed that we did have some comments from our, our readers about the fact that um, it means it seems to be more powerful when, when their counselor has those shared experiences and backgrounds. So it's obvious that both the VA and the DOD are taking obviously a lot of steps in those directions. Um, I'll, I'll throw this out. Anybody else want to add anything to that about programs they're aware of or um, something that your group may be providing and then we'll move on? So yeah, this is Steve with the DAV. Um, it is true as veterans ourselves uh, to communicate, trust other veterans. Uh, DAV offers, we have thousands of chapters across the nation where although these aren't certified um, state facilities, they're chapters where veterans go and mingle, have camaraderie, trust, uh, no fear um, with other veterans alike. And I think that's important for some peer-to-peer -peer structure in a veteran's life. Uh, we, also have, we also have departments that are out there as well. So I just wanted to throw that out there as well. 